Howdy folks, Airbrusher here. Thanks for joining me again. How are you doing today? Well, we got some uh, War Thunder Ground Forces Realistic Battles. I've been doing a couple of these lately. Um, so far, uh, at least for today, um, I've had three or four good ones in a row with uh, fairly competent teams. And, you know, it doesn't always mean you win, but it just means that the enjoyment you get while playing is much more and uh, so it's been fun and uh, I've been really just watching the teams and during the summertime I'm a little leery of playing team based games these online type combat games because it uh, real part of it relies on random people being able to work together and uh, it's not always a something that someone knows about and uh, rarely does it come together but in the last few games that I had uh, that's what I've gotten um, sometimes more working together than other times but you know, it's still not that bad. And, you know, at the end of the day, even if I lose on that map, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I still have had fun because um, it didn't feel like a total blowout. It didn't feel like a waste of time. Uh, it doesn't feel like, um, you know, I should have just hit another type of game and gone with that. So it's been good. So we're uh, working this uh, capture zone. I believe it's the only one on this map. It's definitely the only one I'm working at. <laughs> um, and here I'm just taking shots at who I can find. And um, I really push my luck right here. I'm, I'm up here for a really long time. And so, I don't remember exactly everything that was going on, but for me to sit here like this and really look around and assess the situation and really be patient for targets, I have to be very comfortable. And uh, I have to have some trust in my team to be able to do that, or I wouldn't leave my tank there where, where I could just get hit. So here I'm moving around, and... Uh, <clears throat> what I happened was I heard my uh, TDs shooting, so I'm going to come around here, and it's the AI coming across, and there's a few players in with them. Um, hey, that big Russian TD, those are fun. Uh, anyways, uh, it's been going good, and um, I'm just trying to remember everything that happened. Um, for some strange re reason, I'm not remembering. That was that was a bomber run. <laughs> I'm not remembering everything that happened. Uh, I do know that here in a few minutes, I got some TDs that from the enemy team that are trying to take this cap zone. But oh yeah, oh this one was surprising. That's a uh, Panzer 4M, and I'm well aware of its gun. And. Uh, I'm working them over, I set them on fire, and I get hit right there from the side, and I no longer can shoot. And yeah, and what happened is across the way, you see them right there, <clears throat> is another Panzer M that took me out. So, okay, we're just going to move on here. And uh, I'm taking an opportunity to look at the map here and see where the the blue tanks are and the red tanks are, and I decided I'm going to move back into the same position. And uh, so I'm going to move up here again. And I'm really sorry, folks. Usually I can have a, a good memory of what's going on. Um, yeah, I get my pan my Panthers and my Leopards confused and my KV-1s and KV-2s. Um, like I said, I'm an airplane guy, not a tank guy. I get, you should be proud of me for even know what I, the difference between a KV-1 and a KT, KV-2 is, even if it is after the fact. <laughs> um, 
but yeah, it was, you know, it's games like this I learn a lot from because just knowing what what I'm facing, I've had to research. You know, open a book, take a look, read some stuff. Almost had a rhyme going, and uh, so it's one of the things I've liked about this game the most is I've learned, you know, about the T-34s. I've learned how they they changed uh, the design of tanks. And, you know, they, they're the direct result of how the, the tanks became, become the way they look, that slope to them uh, is directly because of this T-34 and its variants. And you'll, if you look at the uh, tanks later in the war, say from, I don't know, I'm going to guess Kursk on, uh, the Leopard, the Panther, the uh, King Tiger or Tiger Royale, as it's known, or the Tiger II is how it's known also. They all copied that T-34 design philosophy. The hard angles, the... Um, you know, really deep angling to it and everything. Even their TVs had it. <laughs> and um, yeah, one shot, here I am, damaged, out in the open, now I gotta repair. Typical, yay. Nothing unusual, move on. Uh, anyways, uh, you know, this is when you learn about this stuff, these, these games are fantastic. Now, I, when I started online gaming, it was Ultima Online. You know, we're going to research there, you know, how to cast a fireball. Come on. It was all fantasy. It was just click, click, click. And, uh, but now they're, you know, the advancement of programming, the advancement of computers, the graphics, the, you know, the fidelity that we can achieve, the program physics of the game. Uh, you have to learn a little bit more. You know, I, I'm an airplane guy, but I still had to pull some info up on, like, the P-51 and stuff like that when I fly, fly in this game. I have a better understanding how they're used because it tr does translate into the game. So it's very interesting. And, you know, it's you heard me say in my other videos, you know, open a book, figure this stuff out. You know, I wasn't being... Um, I wasn't being arrogant or anything like that. I mean it. Open a book. Take a look at this stuff. Um, it they really do use some of the info, you know. I mean, it's it, a lot of it is modified for fun gameplay, but it's based on you know known fact. It's based on it, and if you don't know the the known facts is based on you, you can't use the game to its full potential and so I think that's the main thing I was I looked at this uh, particular map for and why I recorded it and planned to put it up was it really shows knowing you know figuring out some more about your your game what's used in your game the tanks the planes, you know, the tactics. You know, I, I wouldn't if I didn't read. In this case, with the uh, the aiming reticle right there, I actually went online and found out about that. How to use it doesn't mean I use it well. I have to practice. I have to, you know, become accustomed to using it. And um, the shells are rendered in such a way that they fire off. Anyways, uh, there you go. Thank you for joining me, listening to me rattle on. I appreciate it. Um, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button. I uh, really want to have you come back and join me. Thank you. Have a good day. Goodbye.